Everyone lie down on your back in Shavasan. Arms apart, legs apart comfortably. Chin gently tucking in towards the chest. Shoulders are away from the ears. Begin to relax your body, starting with the toes, move up towards the head. Relax the legs. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Relax the back. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck, head, and the face. Slow down your breathing. Make the inhalations long. Make the exhalations longer and deeper. Stay connected with your breath. Every inhalation, feeling the abdomen expand and contract the abdomen with the exhalation. Keep the exhalations very active and mindful. The fresh brown flowing into the body with each breath. Completely let go and relax.
Taking a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up, give a long stretch to the body, stretch your whole body. Gently releasing the stretch, turn to one side and release it up, starting with the prayer. Sit up straight, both the hands on your knees in Chin Mudra. Chanting together on three times. Gajananam Bhutakaladi Sevitam Kapit Jambo Palsar Bakshikam Uma Sutam Shoka Vinashikaranam Namami Vigneshwara Padi Pankajam Shadananam Kumkumara Tavarnam Mahamadim de Vimayura Vahanam Rutrasisunam Sursaini Natam Buham Sadaham Shadanam Prabhate Yakunde Dudushan Haradabura Ya Shubra Vistra Vita, Ya Vina Vradandu Manditikara, Ya Shaita Padmasana, Ya Brahma Chuti Shankara Pravati Vee, Deva Sada Pujita, Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishesh Jadya Paha, Om Namashivaya Gurve, Sachitananda Murtahe, Nishprapanchaya Shantaya, Shri Shivananda Hite Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Arte Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangale Shive Sarvartha Sadike Sharandi Triambake Gauri Narayani Namostate Narayani Namostate Om Shanti 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 Om Namah Shivaya, welcome to the Monday class. Let's get ready. Sitting up tall and straight, take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Getting ready for the Kapalapati practice. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 Wonder, 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 wonder,
Wanjo, 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 Wanjo. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. To hold the breath, open the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, sitting up straight. Inhale. Three foot of your lungs, hold the breath gently. Focusing between the eyebrows, mentally repeat your mantra. Slowly, with control, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Getting ready for the second round of Kapalapati. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one, 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 Relax your neck muscles, relax the shoulders, back of the head, top of the head. Ease out all the tension from the face. Take a deep breath, inhale. Sit up straight, open the chest. Exhale. Now get ready for the breath retention. Inhale, a deep breath, comfortable breath. Gently hold the breath. Slowly, with control, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now relax the body. You may stretch your legs out and shake out all the tension from your legs. And please recross the legs. Now interlock the hands up, stretch your whole body. Interlock the hands up, arms close to the ears, a little behind the ears. Stretch up, pull up with your waist, tuck the belly in. Exhale, bend down to the right. Keep the elbow straight, go only as far down as possible. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release down to the left. Inhale, come up. Once again, exhale to the right. Now release the right hand down. Right elbow bent. Left arm is stretching up and away. And the hips are 
ground it knees are pushing down inhale come up interlock the hands up stretch up and exhale bend down to the left side release the left arm down left elbow bent and right arm stretches up in the way inhale come up release your arm get ready for alternate nostril breathing place your right hand in vishnu mudra left hand in chain mudra spine straight through both the nostrils take a deep breath inhale exhale inhale exhale now block the right nostril with your right thumb through the left inhale um one um two um three um four hold the breath close the nostrils right exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight inhale right um one um two um three um four gently hold left exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight inhale left um one um two um three um four retain close the nostrils mind focused at the third eye center mentally repeating your mantra or the universal mantra om right exhale om van om tu om tri om four om five om six om seven om eight inhale right om van om tu om tri om four gently hold relax the shoulders relax the right elbow left exhale om van om tu om tri om four om five om six om seven om eight inhale left om van om tu om tri om four hold it and we close the nostrils relax the jaw no pressure on your eyes relax the forehead right exhale om van om tu om tri om four om five om six om seven om eight inhale right om van om tu om tri om four gently hold left exhale om van om tu om tri om four om five om six om seven om eight inhale left on one on two on three on four again right exhale on one on two on three on four on five on six on seven on eight inhale right on one on two on three on four gently hold relax your body relax the mind left exhale on one on two on three on four on five on six on seven on eight inhale left on one on two on three on four retain right exhale on one on two on three on four on five on six on seven on eight inhale right on one on two on three on four retain
through the left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, retain. Right exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale right, um one, um two, um three, um four, retain, last retention. Left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Release the hand down, relax the body, normal breathing. And slowly stretching your legs out, please lie down on your back and chest, arms apart and the legs apart. Kapalabhati cleanses the nasal passage, lungs, and the entire respiratory system. It also strengthens and increases the lungs capacity. Strong work on the abdominal organs, abdominal muscles get strengthened. And the alternate nostril breathing balances the flow of the breath in both the nostrils balances both the hemispheres of the brain, calms down the mind, completely let go and relax the body. On the next inhalation, bring your legs together. Interlock the hands up and stretch your whole body. Stretch the body, stretch, release the stretch, hug the knees to the chest and rock the body side to side three times. Knees dropping right, head turning left. And now bring the hands under the thighs, rock your body forward and backward three to four times. Please stand up for the sun salutation practice. Coming to the top of your mat with your feet together. The first round, inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears and arch back, look up. Exhale, stretch your body forward and reach down. Inhale, get the right leg back, look up. Right knee down, look, hold the breath, left leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, drop the knees down, hips are up, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale, exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. 
Inhale the left leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale the right leg forward, press your hands down by the side of your feet. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release. Second round. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, two, stretch your arms up, arch back. Exhale, three, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, four, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, five, other leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, six, knees, chest and the forehead down. Eight parts of the body touching down. Inhale, seven, cobra. Exhale, eight, inverted V, look to the toes. Inhale, nine, the right leg forward between the hands. Exhale, ten, the other leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, eleven, stretch forward, stretch up. Pull up with your waist and push your hips forward, look up to the hands. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, two, stretch your arms up, arch back. Exhale, three, stretch forward and down. Inhale, four, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, five, other leg back. Exhale, six, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, seven, cobra. Exhale, eight, inverted V. Inhale, nine, the left leg forward between the hands. Exhale, ten, the other leg forward. Inhale, eleven, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release, third round. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, two, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down, align the toes and the fingers, hold it towards the knees. Inhale, get the right leg all the way back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees just and the forehead down. Inhale, gracefully sliding forward, arch back. Exhale, inverted V, look to the toes, press down. Inhale, the right leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the other leg forward. Press your hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. And exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, arms up along the ears, pull up and arch back. Push your hips forward, look up to the hands. Exhale, stretch your body forward and stretch down, toes and fingers in one line, chest to the thighs. Inhale, get the left leg back. Left knee more away, look up. Hold the breath. Right leg back. Plank pose. Let's stay there and breathe. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Very good. Shoulders right on top of the wrist. Head in line with the spine. Keep breathing. And slowly exhale. Drop the knees down. Hips are up. Chest between the hands. Fold it down. Sliding forward. Inhale. Arch back into cobra. Exhaling, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, inverted V, look to the toes. Let's stay there. Push the heels small down, knees straight, upper arms and ears in one line, just reaching down towards the mat. Belly is tucked in. You feel the length in the spine and the tailbone is lifting up. Keep breathing, drawing the energy from the Mother Earth and lifting that energy up to hold the pose. And the next inhalation, bring your left leg forward between the hands, push the right leg more back. On the exhalation, bring the right leg forward, stay there. Press the hands down, shift your body weight forward. Get the chest towards the thighs, fold it towards the knees. Now on the inhalation, lengthen forward, reach forward, reach up, pull up with your waist and push your hips forward, upper arms and ears in one line, looking up to the hands. Exhale, release. Let's continue with the fourth round. Inhale and exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms of arch back, We're going a little faster now. Exhale, reach forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, other leg back. 
Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back. Exhale, inverted plane. Inhale, the right leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, reach forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, go ground. Exhale, inverted wheel. Inhale, the left leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right. Stretch forward, stretch up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, arms apart, back. Exhale, stretch forward and stretch down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath out, the leg back. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, reach forward, reach up, arch back. Exhale, release, left side. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, three. Left inhale, four. Hold the breath, five. Exhale, six. Inhale, seven. Exhale, eight. Left inhale, nine. Exhale, ten. Stretch up, eleven. Inhale, large back. Exhale, release, twelve. Last round. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, two, exhale, three, right, inhale, four, hold the breath, five, exhale, six, inhale, seven, exhale, eight, right, leg, inhale, four, nine, exhale, ten, stretch up, eleven, inhale, back, exhale, release. Last time on the left, inhale, exhale, preposition. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release. Separate your feet apart, take a breather, relax. And now, please sit down and lie down on your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Relax the body from toes to the head. Breathing into each part of the body from toes to the head. Everyday practice of sun salutation brings great flexibility to your spine and joints. It limbers up the whole body in preparation of the asana practice. Surya Namaskar in itself is a complete form of exercise for the entire body, combining the 12 asanas.
Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up, stretch your whole body, stretch the body and get ready for the single leg raises. Fix the arms by the side of your body, palms facing down. Feet together, toes tucking in and chin towards the chest. Inhale, lift your right leg straight up. Exhale, release the leg down with control. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg, inhale up, exhale down, left leg up, inhale, exhale down, inhale, right leg up, hold the right thigh and pull the leg close to the body. On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Walk the hands only if the knee can remain straight. Stretching the chin gently up towards the right foot. Shoulders are away from the ears. Bend the elbows to relax the shoulders. And tuck the toes, all ten toes towards the head. Sole of the right foot is facing up towards the ceiling. And actively push the left thigh closer down to the floor. That's very good. Breathe. Slow down the breathing. Close your eyes and still the body. Try not to put pressure on the neck or the shoulders to hold the posture. It's the abdomen which holds. At the same time, we are strengthening the abdominal muscles, abdominal organs and the back muscles. And slowly exhale, release the head down and release the leg straight down. Release the leg down. Get the left leg up, inhale. Support the left thigh and pull the leg close to the body. On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Walk the hands more up. And you know how to adjust, how to hold. Just go ahead, make your adjustments and completely still the body, relax the body to hold. Keep breathing slowly and gently. Slowly exhale, release the head down and release the leg straight down. And now adjusting your body for the double leg raises. Keep the arms either by the side of the body, under the body or under the head. Feet together, toes pulling in, chin tucking in. Inhale, lift both your legs up with control. Exhale, release the legs down, close to the mat. Second time, up, inhale. Exhale, down. We'll do this 10 times. Inhale, come up. Exhale down, fourth time up, inhale, exhale down, five up, inhale, exhale down, six up, inhale, exhale down, come up, inhale, seven time, exhale down, inhale, come up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, and one last time, inhale up, exhale, release down. Relax in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart.
And now bring the legs together, bend the knees to the chest, hug the knees tightly. Pressing the load back to the mat. On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Pavan Muktasin. Chin, nose or the forehead reaching towards the knees, touching the knees. Back should be pressing down, abdomen squeezing in. Shoulders away from the ears. Relax your neck muscles. And keep breathing. Slowly exhale, release the head down. Now keep the feet hip distance apart on the mat. Separate the feet hip distance apart on the mat. Now keep the feet on the mat with the knees bent. Separate your arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Drop the knees to the right. Turn the head to the left. Separate your feet apart. Inhale, come back to the center. Feet down. And exhale, drop the knees to the left, turn the head to the right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop the knees right, head to the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the left, look to the right. Inhale, come up to the center. Once more, exhale, drop the knees to the right. This time, let's hold and breathe. Now just listen to the instruction. If it is possible, move the left foot more up towards the left hip. So you're opening the left knee in line with the thigh. Very good. Now place the right foot on the left thigh and press it more down. That's very good. Keep the shoulders relaxing, back relaxing. Feel the stretch in the front of the left thigh. Keep breathing. Inhale, slowly release and come up. Feet to the mat. And exhale, drop down the knees to the left side. Turn the head to the right. This time, adjust your right foot more up and press the right thigh with your left foot. Breathe. And slowly release. Please come up to the center. Hug the knees to the chest. Hug the knees with your arms. Inhale, stretch your legs up. With control, exhale, release the legs down. Relax in Shavasana. Now take a deep breath, inhale. Bring your legs together. Interlock the hands up. Stretch your whole body. Stretch the body. Gently release the stretch, turning to one side. Please sit up and relax into the child pose. Relax the whole spine. Allow the blood to flow towards the head without tensing any part of the body, the spine, the shoulders or the neck. Measure your elbows along the arms, along the knees. Stretch your arms forward. For the headstand practice, prepare yourself. Interlock the hands. Back of the head rests on the hands, top of the head on the mat. Lift your hips, uh, hips up, tuck the toes in, walk forward. And then bend the knees to the chest one by one, half head stand. When you're ready, lift the knees up towards the ceiling and open the legs up. Hold the head stand for two minutes. King of the Asanas, one of the most powerful and beneficial postures for both mind and the body. From toes to the head, you are working on the body externally as well as internally. And by reversing the normal effects of gravity, it gives enough rest to the heart, helps in the circulation of blood. And as you may notice, it relieves pressure from the lower back.
the inversion enhances deep breathing abdominal breathing blood flowing freely towards the brain heart and the brain the rich supply of blood to the brain makes it stronger and more efficient so it's not always about just the strength in the arms or the abdomen it is mostly the fear which doesn't allow you to come up so be strong in the mind and if you're still struggling with the headstand practice you may keep a support behind either the wall or your furniture the sofa the soft sofa soft bed do not arch your back keep the belly tucked in and now we are ready to release the posture bend the knees to the chest and one by one release the legs relax in the child pose shashankasan and now please lie down sit up and lie down on your back in shavasan your arms apart and the legs apart turn the head side to side take a deep breath bring your legs together interlock the hands up and stretch your whole body now release the stretch and get ready for the shoulder stand practice keep the arms by the side of the body palms facing down feet together toes pulling in chin tucking in inhale lift both your legs up exhale swing the trunk up and support your back into the shoulder stand and now adjust your body bend the knees to the forehead bring the elbows a little closer hands a little more down once you are ready lift your legs up again for a taller straighter shoulder stand find your position push the hips forward towards the head keep the legs straight legs relaxed that's very good and transfer the body weight from elbows to the shoulders entirely now we still the body for the next one and a half minutes just be patient with your practice be strong in the mind sarvangasana as the name suggests it invigorates and rejuvenates the whole body and this also is an inversion hence it enhances the deep abdominal breath as you may notice it limits the use of the top part of your lungs and one very important benefit the main benefit of the practice of shoulder stand stimulates the thyroid and the parathyroid glands glands which are responsible to control the weight of the body and the metabolism of the body regulating the calcium levels in the body
lengthening up a little higher with the inhalation and on the exhalation release the right leg over the head at the halasana very good left leg moving more away inhale get the right leg straight up exhale release the left leg down over the head move the right leg more up more away inhale the left leg up once more exhaling the right leg down behind the head knee straight inhale right leg up exhale the left leg down inhale the left leg up lengthen up on the inhalation and as you exhale release both the legs into halasan the plow settle down with your own arms position either keep supporting the back place the hands down or interlock the hands away when the hands are interlocked you can easily bring the shoulder blades together and pull the shoulders away from the ears that's a way to relax the neck muscles from any kind of pressure toes walking in towards the head knees pushing away from the forehead and tailbone lifts up now focus on deep breathing breathing into the abdomen the hal asan the plow pose makes the spine very flexible from the base to the neck nourishes the spinal nerves strengthens the back shoulders and the arm muscles the wonderful massage you're giving right now to the abdominal organs just a couple of breaths more and now we are ready to release place your arms on the mat lift the toes of the mat of the floor just 45 degrees above the mat above the floor using your arms as brakes please come down if you're not ready to come down the way i have instructed follow your own body and please release the posture no jerk to the spine that's very good get ready for setu bandhasan bending the knees place the feet down hold your ankles inhale lift your hips up and come up squeeze your squeeze your knees and thighs closer and lift your hips more up get the chest close to the chin complementing the plow pose it reverses the stretch on the spine and it relieves the pressure on your neck by holding the setu bandhasan we are strengthening the abdominal organs abdominal muscles lower back muscles makes the spine more supple slowly exhale release down prepare for chakrasan the wheel pose your hands under the shoulders fingers turned inwards heels close to the hips feet hip distance apart inhale lift your hips up and come up press the hands down come up very good stay up om 10 om 9 om 8 om 7 om 6 om 5 om 4 om 3 om 2 om 1 slowly release down very good hug both the knees to the chest and press the lower back down now rotate the knees clockwise and anti clockwise massaging the back now inhale raise the legs up and with control exhale release the legs down let's give a counter stretch with matsyasana the fish pose slide your arms under the body with elbows closely tucked in hands stretching down inhale lift your head up chest up come up on your arms and look to the toes lifting your chest up exhale arch your back release the top of the head very slowly gently down chest is open slow down the breath and using the full lungs capacity lengthen your inhalations deepen your exhalations keep pressing on your elbows releasing the pressure from the neck 
You're now compressing the spine. We stretch the neck and the upper spine in shoulder stand, brow and bridge. So now it's time to compress them as you arch the back. Once you release the pose, we'll be releasing the stiffness from the neck and the shoulder muscles. And you will feel lightness in the head and in the upper body. Chest muscle, getting a good stretch. Keep pressing the elbows down and lift your chest more up if the head, head is slided down. using the full lungs capacity. At the same time, this posture is increasing your lungs capacity. Slowly inhale, come up on your elbows, head up, chest up, look to the toes and exhale, release down. Release your arms, fist your hands and roll the wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. Try keeping the arms straight and turn the head side to side. Relax the Imshavasana. Feel the release of all pent up feelings and emotions with this posture. Mind feels light, upper body feels so good and relaxed. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up and stretch your whole body. Stretch the body, stretch, stretch. Let's sit up in Nakasana, the boat pose. Lift your legs up, head up, chest up, point the fingers to the feet, come up. Keep the belly tucked in. Hold, 10, 9, 8, 7. Relax the neck, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and please sit up. That's very good. Sit up. Join the soles together for the butterfly. Sit up with your spine straight. Feet close to the groin. Holding the toes, flap your knees, chin parallel to the floor. Badkorn Asan, an excellent asana to release tension from the back, from the hip joint. Makes the hip joint more flexible. And each time you flap the knees, feel it in the th inner thighs. Now let's get ready for sitting forward bend. Stretch both your legs out. Please use the length of your mat. Sit up straight, place the hands close to the body. Tuck the toes in, push the heels out, legs together. Knees push down, hands pointing in front. Let's stretch the spine by putting the hands down. Hands beside the body, hands facing forward. Fingers turn, turn forward, yes. Now lift your spine up, press the hands down by, and lift your spine. Chin parallel to the floor. Get ready for Pashimutana, so nothing else. Inhale, stretch your arms up, stretch up. Lengthen your body. And from the base of the spine, exhale, stretch forward and stretch down. Hold wherever you reach, your toes or anywhere on the legs. Push the heels out, push the knees down. And from the lower back, stretch your spine. Shoulders away from the ears, chin stretching forward. Every breath, feel your abdomen extend and squeeze in. Massaging the abdominal organs, making the spine more youthful. Reducing the fat from the body. The sasana stimulates the entire nervous system. 
complete surrender of the mind and the body. Keep breathing slowly and gently. We are ready to release, stretch forward, inhale and stretch up, exhale, place the hands behind, fingers turned away from the body, drop the head back as a counter stretch, we lift the hips up, inhale, come up, incline plane, get the feet flat down, that's very good, hold on 10, on 9, on 8, on 7, on 6, on 5, on 4, on 3, on two, on one, slowly come down. Roll over onto your abdomen, makrasan. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn the head to the right. Big toes touching, heels fall apart. Now deepen the breath into the abdomen. With the inhalation, in the abdomen, push against the mat. Exhalation, allow the body to sink down. Recharging, relaxing, preparing for the back pains. And now get ready for Bhujangasana, the Cobra. Place the forehead down, elbows tucked into the chest, fingertips in line with the shoulders. Feet together, toes pointing away. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. Release the chest off the mat, lower abdomen, pressing down, shoulders away from the ears, hold and breathe. All the abdominal organs getting toned and massaged. Release constipation. And works mostly on the upper half of the body. Slowly exhale, release down. Make a pillow with your hands, turn the head to the left and relax. And now let's get ready for the locust pose. First we do the half locust. Get your arms under the body, either interlock the fingers or fist your hands or place the hands down. Hide the elbows under the body. Feet together, toes pointing away, chin stretching nicely forward. Inhale, stretch your right leg straight back and up. Exhale, release it down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg, inhale up. Now bend the left knee and support the right thigh with your left foot. <coughs> Transferring the entire body weight from arms to the chin. Breathe. Slowly release the support and exhale, release the right leg. Adjust your arms more close. Get the left leg up, inhale. And support the left thigh with your right foot. Keep the left leg to the left side. Do not allow the body to lean to the right. And slowly releasing the support, exhale, release the leg down. Take two breaths, relax your body, adjust your body and mentally prepare for the full local shalabhasana. Inhaling into the abdomen. Completely exhale out. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Now get ready. Inhale, lift both your legs up and come up into the full locust. That's very good. Hold there and breathe. Locust pose works mainly on the lower half of the body, strengthening the abdomen, lower back and the legs. Hold more, five more counts. One, two, three, four, five, and slowly come down. Release your arms. Turn the head one side and relax.
And now the last backward bend, Dhanur Asan, the bow pose. Place the forehead down, bend the knees, hold your ankles. Inhale, lift your knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up, come up. Get the thighs more up. Rest on the soft abdomen, area around the navel. Stretch your chin more up. Keep lifting up higher, visualizing flexibility in the hip. Lift up higher with your legs. Keep holding. This posture combines the effects of cobra and locust. And it counters the forward bend in the plow. Thalasan. Pruning the back muscles. Makes the spine, keeps the spine more elastic. Increasing vitality. Reduces the abdominal fat. Keeps the digestive and reproductive systems healthy. Now rock the body forward and backward. Rock on the abdomen. Just lift the thighs also up when you're rocking. Rock side to side. Coming back to the center, please release. Place the hands under the shoulders. Give a nice stretch to the spine. Come up on the knees and the hands. Marjriyasana. Knees directly under the hips, hands under the shoulders. Inhale, stretch your chin forward, push your hip back, arch your back. Exhale, round your back, tuck the chin in, tuck the belly in. Two more times, inhale, stretch. Exhale, round. And one last time, inhale up, stretch. Exhale, round. Coming back to the neutral position, please relax into the chair pose, Shishankasana. And please slowly sit up. Let's get ready for the half spinal twist. Drop the body down to the right side. Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind near the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the left, lean forward. Push the left knee with your upper right arm and look to the, hold the ankle first and look, look to the left shoulder. Keep opening the chest forward, twisting from the waist. Knee is close to the chest. Feel the pressure on your abdomen. Keep the spine lifted up. Keep breathing slowly, deeply. Close your eyes. Slowly inhale, raise your right arm up and exhale, release, change the side. Sitting on the left, bring your right foot across. Right hand goes behind near the tailbone, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, lean forward, push the knee with your upper left arm to hold the right ankle, look to the right shoulder. Twisting from the waist, open the chest, forward. And keep feeling enough pressure on the abdomen. Such a deep pressure you might be feeling on the abdomen, which works on the internal organs in the abdomen. It tones the spinal nerves and the ligaments, improves digestion. Keep breathing slowly. Close your eyes.
Now to release, inhale, stretch your left arm up. Exhale, release, hug both the knees to the chest. Sit up straight, drop the head back. Stay there. And drop the head forward. Stay. Come back to the center. Turn the head right. And turn the head left. Back to the center. Drop the right ear down to the right shoulder without hunching your shoulders. And left ear down to the left shoulder. Come back to the center. Let's prepare for the Kro Kakasan. Please come up into the squatting position. Make a rough square with your feet and the hands. Hands turn slightly inwards, fingers are open. Look at a point in front and shift the body weight forward from toes to the hands. Keep looking that, at that point, one foot up, other foot up. That's a very good try. The grow pose strengthens your wrists, arms and the shoulders and improves concentration. That's awesome. Please slowly release and stand up. Standing forward bend. Padhastasan. Feet together. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Lengthen up and on the exhalation, first reach forward to the wall in front and come down completely. Hold the ankles or anywhere behind the legs, elbows bending to relax the shoulders. Gently shift the body weight forward from heels towards the toes. Try to get the chest closer to the thighs, making the posture more intense and forehead to the knees. Makes the spine elastic. This posture stretching the ligaments of the legs, the hamstrings. So keep the knees straight. And the blood is flowing freely towards the brain. So do not tense your spine, shoulders or the neck. Allow the free flow of blood to the head. It invigorates the entire nervous system. And now to release, soften the knees, dangle your arms loose and one vertebra at a time, please come up. Chin comes up in the end. Counter stretching the body, feet hip distance apart, support your back. Drop the head back and push your hips forward. Breathe. And slowly come up. Now get ready for a triangle trikonasan. Separate your legs apart. Use the length of your mat, three to four feet apart. Turn the right foot to the right, left foot turned inwards. Hips are facing forward. Inhale, stretch your right, left arm up. Lengthen the entire left side of your body. And exhale, release down to the right side. Look in front. Very good. Hold, relax and breathe. Feel the stretch in the entire left side of your body from edge the outer edge of the left foot to the fingertips of the left hand. Keep the upper arm and head in one line. Keep breathing. And slowly come up, inhale. Exhale, release your arm down. Turn the left foot out, right foot in, right hip pushing a little forward, the hips pushing forward. Left and, the, and stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, bend down to the left side. 
golden wreath, the Trikon Asan gives a lateral stretch to the spine and it tones the spinal nerves, helps the proper functioning of the digestive system. It also promotes the flexibility of the hip, it strengthens the lungs. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, release the arm, join the legs together, come to the top of your mat. Time to finally rest and relax. Stretch your arms forward. Come up on the toes. In count five, you'll sit down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Stay there. Put the heels down and push your hips down. Knees squeezing together. When you look down, look, you should be looking to the toes. So knees are not extending beyond the feet. Hold on five, on four, on three, on two, on one. Slowly sit down and lie down on your back in Shukasana. Time to integrate the effects, the benefits of the practice of 90 minutes. Arms and legs apart, slow down the breathing. Slow down the body. Now let's tense the body parts. Lift your right leg two inches off the mat. Tense the right leg, tense it and drop it down. Left leg up, tense the leg, drop it down. Lift both your legs up, tense, tense and drop. Lift your hips up and drop. Squeeze the lower back to the floor, release. Lift your chest up and drop it down. Squeeze the shoulders to the ears, push the shoulders down, lift your arms up, clench your fingers tight, tight, open your fingers, tense your arms, tense, tense and drop. Make a tight, ugly face, squeeze all the facial muscles through the nose, let go. Open your mouth wide, pull your tongue out, look to the forehead and stretch your face. Slowly release. Move the shoulders more down and turn the head to the right. Bring the right cheek down and turn the head to the left. Bring the left cheek down. Come back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body. For the next 10 minutes, we'll completely still the body and absorb all the benefits from this practice. Once again, mentally scan your body from toes to the head and release all the baggage, all the tension. Let go in the mind. Calm down your feelings. Calm down your emotions. Allow the body to sink down more and more with each passing slow breath. Mentally relaxing the toes, the soles, heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. Relax the knees and the thighs.
Relax the hips and the hip joint. Relax the abdomen. Relax the chest. Bring the awareness to your back. Relax the lower back, middle and the upper back. Relax the entire spine, each vertebra in the spine. Move the awareness to your arms. Relax the fingers, the palms, the wrist and the forearms. Relax the elbows and the upper arms. Relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Relax the neck and the throat. Back of the head, top of the head, the forehead, completely relaxed. Relax the ears, the eyes, the nostrils, cheekbones. Relax the jaw and the tongue. Now bring the awareness to the internal organs in the body. Send awareness to all internal organs in the abdomen to relax. Relax the lungs. The heart and the brain. And finally relax the mind. Let go in the mind. Relax the mind. Relax the mind, relax, relax.